Hello, I'm Robert Donovan. This is Tradecraft eLearning Solutions at TradecraftSolutions.com. Welcome back to our full-on first Linux course. In this screencast, we're going to have a first look at the new Genome 3 shell that's available in Fedora 15. Unfortunately, we can't look at this in VirtualBox because VirtualBox is not yet caught up to Fedora 15 and does not support the Genome 3 shell. It supports Genome 3 fallback mode, which will be the subject of a subsequent video, but not the shell as we're seeing here. All right. First of all, you're going to notice that a few things are different in, uh, a lot of things in fact are different in Genome 3 shell as opposed to Genome 2. First off, they have adopted kind of a grid approach to listing the applications. They are categorized over here on the right, in di but they don't use a, they're not using a menu approach now. They're using a grid, a screen grid approach. And they have, uh, you, can, you can select themes that way, and if you go into window, if you have all your windows, if you have multiple windows open, let's say you open uh, LibreOffice and maybe my home folder here, um, you will see that uh, if I go back to the activities mode, it shows all the windows that are open and it kind of, it kind of arranges them such that you can see them all. Now, um, the other thing that is over here, these are the workspaces. There's no auto, there's, they now use automatic workspacing in Genome 3. Uh, in the early versions of Genome 3, the pre-release versions, they had a plus sign down here you could, you could click to add workspaces. For some reason between development and release versions, that has been lost. I miss that because one of the things I liked about Genome 2 was its ability to manage multiple workspaces. Um, as things stand now, it uh, does not do that. But um, the other thing you'll notice that is missing on your uh, system, if you have not uh, configured it as I have mine yet, is that the menu options here look different, the networking options here are a little different still, and you, this should be, you'll find your, you don't have these icons up here, and um, you are, uh, the, the, the icon buttons are not the same, and you may not show the weekday in the clock. Um, I'll show you momentarily how to get all that back. The other thing you'll notice that's different in Genome is that you have Genome 3 is that you have this favorites bar over here, which does some of what the panel did when we added icons to the panel in Genome 2. You can add icons to the panel from the applications uh, window here and just right click and uh, you know, add to favorites. If it's already there, I have already got this one here, so it'll, it'll tell you to remove it from the favorites. And if you right click it, uh, it'll give you the option, if it's not there, of adding to the favorites. And then once it's there, you can move it up or down in the list, however you like. Um, you can also remove it from the, directly from the favorites bar. Uh, you can also, if you wish, simply drag the icon over and drop it onto the favorites bar, as you just saw. So, some new things there, and the other thing too is when you, if you're in uh, windowing mode here, windows mode, if you bang the top corner here and going over the hotspot like this, it'll switch to the uh, more traditional, the desktop mode. It'll look, it's, it, this is more to what you're used to with a desktop with multiple windows open, and uh, when I'm not recording and I do this, it'll switch back. As it is, I because Record My Desktop is keeping this window active. I have to hit the super key, which is the key with the <coughs> Windows uh, icon, Windows logo on it, to switch back to windowing mode. All right, so uh, you'll notice that how do you get all of these features back that seem not to be present in Genome 3, like the new, like the menu and the the uh, icons on the desktop and the ability to right click the background and change your desktop background and those sorts of things or to create new launchers or uh, those sorts of things. Well, in order to do that, let me close these windows here. In order to do that, you need to open up a terminal window, which I have added to the favorites bar here, become root, and you need to type in the following two commands. One is yum install genome tweak tool. And I already have mine installed, so it, it's, it haven't installed on mine, so it's just going to say that. And the other command you need is yum install genome 
shell extension and an asterisk. There are multiple shell extensions packages, and uh, some of them are some packages contain multiple extensions, and they say genome shell extensions on them. So if you throw the asterisk at the end there, it'll get them all. And I have pretty much installed all that are there in the Fedora repository. So that gets you back some of the genome 2 functionality that you may have missed. Now, once you have the genome tweak tool and the extensions installed, um, I'm sorry, do this as a regular user, exit out of root, and do uh, type in genome-tweak-tool, and that opens up this graphical interface, which enables you to, uh, this is where I got back all of my uh, visible icons on the desktop, as you see as I'm turning them off here, and the have file manager handle the desktop. By default in Genome 3, the Genome shell handles the desktop, not the file manager. So if you have that turned off, I'm right clicking on the background of the desktop now, nothing is happening. Turn that back on and you get that ability back once the little icon shows up here. Now you've got all the abilities that uh, you are, might be are used to seeing in Genome 2. And I'm going to turn on all the other desktop icons because I happen to like those there. For fonts, um, this is the easiest way to change them, otherwise you wind up writing a lot of code, um, or you can, and I leave them as the defaults. You're certainly welcome to change them. Under Interface, uh, this is where we get the menus have icons and buttons have icons. If those are turned off, um, you don't have the, the, same, um, the same look to your icons um, on many of the, of, of the applications. Uh, with them turned on, you'll see icons on the various buttons. And under Shell, notice I have the Minimize and Maximize buttons. Most, if you're out of the box, you just have the Close button up here on your Windows. To get all the buttons back under Arrangement of Buttons on the title bar, click All. Under the Theme, you can select a different Shell theme. You can also do that from here. Uh, like that. You can also install a different shell theme if you have one, uh, the shell file on the hard drive by clicking none and then opening the folder where it's at, where it is, is located. And then these two buttons are fairly self-explanatory. They control how the laptop acts on a closed lid depending on whether you're on battery or AC. As I said, I installed the shell extensions. There are other extensions that you can get and it may have to download and install. Uh, you would navigate to those by clicking that button there. Um, I'm going to cancel here. And I have all the shell extensions turned on, as you can see. All right. So that's basically the way you want to get back some of the functionality you're used to in Genome 2 in Genome 3 shell. Unfortunately, Genome 3 is still a much younger project than Genome 2, and the developers have not yet had a chance to polish it up as much. Uh, I look, I'm looking for new extensions all the time, um, but uh, so far this is the best we can do. Uh, the thing I really miss is the fact that they do automatic workspacing here, and they don't allow you to control that anymore. There used to be a plus button here, and they would show the workspace. You could switch between workspaces with a little icon down at the bottom here. Um, hopefully that will come back with an extension soon. Uh, with that, I'm going to conclude this video. That will be, uh, call this your basic introduction to the Genome 3 shell and Fedora 15. And I thank you for watching. This is TradeCraftSolutions.com.